Hi there. The quite delightful Ivanchuk Ulibin trap is in the Queen's Gambit accepted, but it can also metamorphosize out of a French defence exchange variation. Vasily Ivanchuk played it against Xavier Villagasquez in 2008, and further back in 1989, Mikhail Ulibin defeated Joel Lautier. So it can start with e4. This is the Ulibin Lautier game from Sochi 1989. E4, E6, D4, D5, and here Ulibin went for the exchange variation with E takes on D5, E takes on D5, Knight F3, and Bishop D6, C4, and after D takes on C4 and Bishop takes at C4, uh, this is already a uh, Queen's Gambit accepted. The same position was arrived at by uh, uh, Vasily Ivanchuk in his game against Villa Gasquez. Let's have a look how we reached it via d4, d5, the queen's gambit accepted with d takes c4, e3 and e5 was met by bishop takes c4 and e takes on d4 and e, take, uh, e takes on d4. So same type of position. So arriving at this position here, it's a uh, knight f6 black plays. White castles, black castles, knight c3 is met by bishop g4 pinning the knight on f3 so that bishop is unwanted there h3 is going to drive him back to h5 and here white's prepared to compromise his uh the pawns in front of his castle king by sending the bishop back to g6 because there's a a trap involved in this move knight to e5 that knight wants to trade with the bishop now on g6 and black's next move is a losing move c5 it looks totally natural but here white is winning and white wins by first taking on g6 black's going to have to recapture with the h pawn because the f pawn is pinned by the bishop on c4 so h takes on g6 and now d takes on c5 hits the bishop and if the bishop now takes back on c5 it looks more or less equal but White has this tactic, bishop takes on f7, check. If, ki if rook takes on f7, queen takes on d8, the queen's dropping, so the king is going to have to take. But now the queen plays to b3, check again, also hitting b7, but this is actually quite inconsequential at the moment. The king is going to go back to e8, and now rook e1, check again, drives the bishop back from c c5 to e7 to interpose. And in this position, white is totally dominating, totally winning. Uh, Ulibin played queen takes on b7, as did several other people in this position. But uh, Vasily Ivanchuk found a, a better continuation. Bishop f4 is actually more forceful. And um, here black can resign. If black was to play a move like knight to d7, knight bd7, then um, he can expect knight b5 which is threatening to invade on c7 and if rook c8 to defend then the knight can play this beautiful checkmate on d6 and uh, after bishop f4 if rook f7 was tried then we can expect perhaps rook hitting the queen on uh, rook d1 also knight b5 the same type of idea is still totally winning again if knight b5 probably better here and maybe knight d7 then the knights can again come in check and if the king to f8 then queen takes on f7 is mate and black is busted so this has been the ivanchuk ulubin trap in the queen's gambit accepted also arriving out of the french defense exchange variation thanks for watching bye bye